I want to take a little time and talk to you about crate hackers. You may have heard about crate hackers in one way or another. Maybe you've seen some online marketing, you've seen a review here or there, and you've wondered what is this whole crate hacking lifestyle? Will it actually help me DJ? There's a few things to keep in mind about what crate hackers is and what crate hackers is it. First off, and this is something that I think a lot of people take for granted, is crate hackers is a community first. I've been a DJ for about 20 years now and I've never had a good community around me of like-minded individuals. In fact, one of the reasons why I kept DJing when it got difficult was because of the horror stories I heard about other DJs. Their conduct at events, their conduct at weddings, and people's really negative experiences and how a DJ actually tore down their events. If there's people like that out there, then I can't stop. I have to continue to be out there, act with integrity, make their events about the people and make their events about the event not about some DJ who loves the sound of their own voice too much. Number two, Crate Hackers is not your personal IT support. Now I see a lot of people jump into the community and one of the first things they do is start asking questions. How do I use this tool? How do I find music? How do I put music on my computer? How do I get music from my external hard drive onto my computer? If you're a DJ in this day and age, you're a digital DJ, you need to know, you need to have some idea of what a file structure is, what a file type is. The people in Crate Hackers know a lot about computers. And in fact, many of them can tell you more about computers than you probably ever Ever want to know but their night job is not to teach you things that you should know as a human living in the 2020s there are a ton of getting started resources there's videos write-ups look at those first before you start asking basic questions and if you don't know what an mp3 is or what bitrate is that's okay but if you don't know how to get files from an external hard drive onto your computer where you can see them i'm really mystified as how you're doing the dj thing to begin with. If all your music is stored on an external hard drive, you have to know how to get to it in order to play it. The people in Crate Hackers aren't going to teach you these basics. There will be people there to help you. It's just we, we can't be your full-time IT supporter. Number three, don't give up your soul. You could find reviews crashing Crate Hackers because Crate Hackers at its core was building a playlist and a lot of people are saying you're not a real DJ if you're letting someone else build your playlist. Real DJs build their own playlist. Anyone saying this has already completely missed the point of of crate hackers. Playlists are an excellent and one of my personal favorite things about crate hackers. But crate hackers isn't about taking away your skills or your soul as a DJ, your ability to put songs together. A mark of a good DJ is the ability to program and know what songs go together, know what songs to play next to each other, pump up the crowd or that sound good together. This is true. You're a programmer of music, you're a programmer of events. These playlists can help you see what works for other DJs in other markets, in your market, other areas of the country, and it also might help you discover or rediscover songs that you haven't played in your market in years, but maybe that song is blowing up in another market. Maybe it's even blowing up in your market, but because you're not going out and watching other DJs, you don't know that this song is actually going over really well in your market. People aren't requesting it, but it's one of those hidden gems, and you don't know if it's coming back until you see someone else playing it and using it successfully. These playlists can serve as a inspiration for growth. If you're not sure what to play and you're practicing a session and you're just trying to get better at mixing and trying to figure out what songs go together, grab a Crate Hackers playlist and play it straight through front to back. And challenge yourself with every combination and transition to see if you can make your transitions better, to see if you can make combinations better. Maybe you can even work on your word plays, play with stems, see what you can do with mashups. Are you feeling a different track? This one sounds like it might go better into that. Slot it in, jump back into the playlist. The curated playlist can also help you with some genre inspiration. I had a 90s R&B party. I DJed in the beginning of 2020. I absorbed myself into 90s music. I asked the client for must plays. I listened to 90s on 9 on Sirius XM nonstop, every single day, hours at a time. I was pulling up Spotify playlists just to find 90s songs that I might be forgetting. I was DJing in the 90s, but it was the late 90s, and a lot of the 90s R&B stuff from the mid and early 90s was just outside of my comfort zone. I did this event 
before Crate Hackers existed. After Crate Hackers came along, I was able to compare the playlist curated by other DJs with my own, and I was able to expand my own 90s R&B crates for future themed events, and I was given validation that my choices were in line with what people were playing in other markets. The client was super happy with what I did in 2020, seeing that what I brought to the table by myself was pacing or even outpacing what other DJs were doing with the same genre boosted my confidence. And then seeing what they were doing with the same genre gave me the ability to build an even better 90s R&B playlist that I used when I redid that event for the same client three years later. Do not give up your soul. Crate Hackers will not DJ for you. And if you're joining Crate Hackers because you want other people to tell you what to play and how to play it, that's that's not the point of Crate Hackers. If you don't want to join Crate Hackers because you want to make your own playlist, cool, that's fine. Go make your own playlist, knock yourself out. If you join Crate Hackers, you might see that you have a niche that you could share with other people in the community. Crate Hackers is not about taking from other people. It's about giving and sharing to a community. If you come in there to just take, 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 you're already missing point one, which is Crate Hackers is about the community. Crate Hackers won't DJ for you. It won't curate music for you. It won't mix for you. If that's what you're looking for, you don't belong here. And there's no hard feelings about it. Crate Hackers is not a music pool. Do not come to Crate Hackers and say, hey everyone, send me your music. We are not sharing music illegally with other DJs. We are all about doing things above board and making sure that DJs continue to be professional business people, not about the DJs who give other DJs a bad name. We are trying to build a community of people who are professionals. And one of the great things about Crate Hackers is if you have someone come to you and say, hey, can you play an event doing this genre that you're not familiar with? You you can come to Crate Hackers for inspiration, use those playlists, combine some together, figure out what works, build your own playlist, and now you have a jumping off point. Crate Hackers can help you if you're not sure how to mix and key or what songs go together. Crate Hackers can show you how to put songs together so when you start building your own playlist it makes a lot more sense but don't come to crate hackers to let crate hackers do everything for you you're not going to grow if you want this tool to become your only creative thing if you're already an established dj crate hackers can still provide you a ton of inspiration because you're seeing what other djs do you're seeing what other djs are putting together and you're learning from a community of people who have different experiences than you do. When you join Crate Hackers, you will likely not find value in everything that Crate Hackers has to offer, and that is okay. You won't find the value in everything right away. Some things are going to take time. Some things are not gonna make sense. You don't have to find value in everything, and you don't have to do everything that Crate Hackers recommends. If you have your own music organization and you like that own music organization, that's fine. The one folder method was very scary to me, and I didn't to do it for about the first year and a half I was in Crate Hackers, I kept my music organization the same and I just started clearing it up. Eventually though, I found that this one folder method might work for me. And when I tried it, I never wanted to go back. Take a step back and think about the things that you use in your daily life. You're probably not using them 100% effectively. Most things you're not. Your vehicle speedometer probably goes a lot higher than you've ever pushed it. That doesn't mean that you're not utilizing it. Don't have to take all 100% of what is available to you. My top value from Crate Hackers has been the community and the relationships I have found with DJs around the country. Before Crate Hackers, I felt like I was a bad DJ. I'd been doing it for nearly 20 years and I had had nothing to show for it. I wasn't doing an event every week. I wasn't a multi-million dollar multi-op. I am not a recognizable name. I didn't have people vying for my attention. As a DJ, I felt lonely. I felt misunderstood. And I felt disrespected by everyone I talked to. Anytime I talked to someone about being a DJ, it was evident to me that no one understood. Everyone I talked to who wasn't a DJ was mocking and condescending. Being a DJ doesn't take skill. I must download a lot of music illegally if I'm a DJ. Do I do karaoke? Am I on the radio? Do you DJ in a club? I used to be a DJ. Do, do you know my friend? He's a DJ. Uh, so our wedding's like the worst thing ever. I went to a wedding that had an awful DJ. You must be exactly like them because all DJs are the same. Almost every other DJ I had met in real life who was actually a DJ was a scumbag. 
I craved mentorship, I craved friendship, and I craved the community and connections. But they would go out of their way to be condescending. They'd tell me how much better they were than me. I used to DJ, but now they're above that. And they don't do it anymore because it was so simple and easy. And that was just a college thing or a high school thing that they did when they were immature and young. I felt like I was in a rut creatively before Crate Hackers. Playing the same playlist every event, doing the same transitions. I wanted inspiration. And not only that, I wanted to know that I had the right tracks in my library. I had been mixing in key for years where I would play songs together that matched harmonically, but I still felt like I was missing something. I joined Crate Hackers and immediately found out that I had a lot of value to give to the greater DJ community. I was years ahead of most of the people in the community community because I had been mixing in key for years and my organization of my music library, like the OCD person I am, was better than what a lot of people were doing. My equipment was up to par with some of the heavy hitters in the industry. My desire to teach and help had a new outlet. My second top value I get from Crate Hackers is the playlist and the inspiration. Not only just the playlist, but the reminders of what songs I should have in my library so I can go to a record pool and get them. Tied for a close second of my value in Crate Hackers is the playlist builder. It's sped up my process immensely and it's helping me clean up my music library as I go to the point where I've cut out probably 50,000 songs that I was never going to play in a Twitch live stream that I was never going to play in real life or that was just so low quality that if I did play it, it would sound awful. The suggestions for cleaning up your library and library optimization you can take or leave. But after I did take the leave, I felt much better about where my files were and I felt better about removing the tracks that I never played. And that became easier and easier and easier as I went along. The Spotify import tool is excellent and I've used it, but it's pretty rare for me because I'm not really a Spotify user. It's really helpful when I have at an event and someone has sent me a Spotify playlist where I can use that to build a playlist out of what I already have and find out which pools have the music that I'm a part of and go out and grab those songs. The top 100 charts are awesome to have, um, but I haven't really used them as much as I thought I would. I used to always go out to top 100 charts, Billboard, AT40 to figure out what was popular, but now with Crate Hackers, I'm finding that what was what is popular and what DJs are playing are kind of coming across in the pop playlist that I need to find, and that's keeping me as up to date as I need to be. The cloud crates and streaming integrations, I haven't used at all. That doesn't mean they're not excellent, not a streaming DJ. In fact, most of the places that I DJ when I am doing a mobile event don't have good enough internet signal or they don't have good enough Wi-Fi for me to stream music. So I still download and own all my music. You don't have to find value in everything and that's okay. Most of the things in your life, you're not going to use 100% of everything it has 100% effectively. The great thing about Crate Hackers is you have a tool that provides you a way to exceed, succeed, and grow in your DJing with a community around you. You can jump into the private community, do a search, see what other people are talking about, ask questions from people who really respect the art and they respect the art of being a professional DJ. I came into Crate Hackers and I expected the community to beat me up. I expected the community to tell me I wasn't good enough. And instead I found a ton of value learning from other DJs and helping other DJs. I've built friendships with people virtually that I never would have been able to otherwise. When I was given the chance to do a set in front of about 250 DJs on Twitch and I had 250 DJs telling me how amazing I was at transition, holy cow, I'm a lot better than I ever thought I was. That sort of confidence is not going to come with a lot of these other free DJ communities on Facebook or wherever. You're going to see people just trashing on each other, tearing each other down, telling you that you're not a real DJ if you don't use vinyl, telling you that they just download everything off YouTube or they just play off a of Spotify free. Those aren't real DJs. The DJs and crate hackers are real DJs. They're real business people. They're real professionals. And those are the people you want on your side. Those are the people you want to learn from. You will not regret joining Crate Hackers. You may regret not joining Crate Hackers. If you really want to build your skills as a DJ, figure out how to make better playlists, Crate Hackers is the best thing you can possibly do. You'll get a lot more value out of Crate Hackers if you jump in, start building those playlists, and start engaging, watching the videos, talking 
to other DJs, jumping into our Twitch streams, jumping into the Zooms, and learning from other people and hearing the way DJs talk. It's really difficult to find a community of people who talk about music the same way that you may think about music. There are some people in Crate Hackers who are DJs who are musical geniuses. There are some people in Crate Hackers who are electronic geniuses or audio geniuses or lighting geniuses. You can get feedback that you will not be able to get anywhere else. It's very difficult as a DJ to ask a question of the internet and get feedback that is specifically through the lens of a DJ. In Crate Hackers, you can ask a question and get answers from people who you know are DJs, you know are professional, and you know want to help you and other DJs succeed. Crate Hackers is the best DJ community out there. You will not regret joining. Give it a try. The next time you get a chance to join Crate Hackers, take it.